This is the Elevated Great Podcast. Elevated Great Podcast. With your host, Seth. Your host, Seth. And stylist, oh, yeah. Fashion Pindra. It's time to get started. Let's talk fashion, shall we? Welcome to another episode of the Elevated Grapes podcast. Uh, thank you for tuning in, uh, whether you're watching on YouTube or listening on one of the streaming sites or syndicated radio shows, because we're around the U.S. now, apparently. Apparently. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, so yeah, so we're you know we're sort of uh, trying to increase our outreach there, but yeah, so got some connections out there. So wherever you're listening or watching, thank you for tuning in and thank you for continuing to support. Um, we always want to get your feedback. That's very important. Uh, let us know what you like, don't like. If there's topics you want to hear, certain guests you'd like to like us to try to get, we'll do our best. Um, that's always a, a fun adventure to try to get some different style guests on. Um, but yeah, thank you again for tuning in. I am your host, Sethi. Oh, I'm stylist Rashik Vindra. Oh. <laughs> I, I, I thought you would introduce us. You were just like in that, you know. I was in a zone. Yeah. So. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm stylist Rashi Vindra. Okay. So and in, the... a couple, in a couple of the shows, you, you used your and then a couple no of i think i gone. said it once yeah. accidentally yeah, yeah. because and then you tried to defend it like it was something normal well in, so <clears throat> don't forget there's so many times she's trying to defend it right now i'm not but i'm even, also even nav is, is agreeing right? i'm i'm okay i'm i also promote him as a host and dj outside so all the time when i do that i like you, like you are now known as your host, Sethi. You are right. now known as your DJ TNT. So I think we, I was in that zone yeah, as well. Yeah, no, right. Yeah. And that I was in, in that zone as well, and, and it just kind of came out. And that was like yeah. once. Yeah. I never else but, say but again, it. But again, you tried to defend it, which was incredible. I didn't. I'm human, man. Like yeah. it was hilarious. Okay, you we know got what? a good laugh. Me and I have got a good laugh about it. Of course, these guys when make these guys make so much fun of me when I'm there and when I'm not there. Like, so, quick story. We, we I was gonna tell it in the last podcast. <laughs> oh, dear God. Time. Rashi was in New York for New York Fashion Week, and she says, "Guys, you don't even understand. I did New York Fashion Week alone, which is, I mean, you know, amazing. Like, she had her, her crew there, but like a lot of those." Like you're you're walking into certain things and she's like, I went to this one place and I sat down <laughs> and I ordered my food by myself and I ate by myself. And I did not kill anybody. <laughs> so do give them some context behind that statement, okay? There's no context. <laughs> There's context. And then she wanted us she wanted us to give her like a pause for the fact that she ate. So okay. This what is the I meant to that, say that we are partnered with and, and works with us and manages a lot of our careers. What I what I meant to say was I am known for being a little bit clumsy and sometimes when I'm in my zone I forget things around me. Right? Now, did she say any of that? Now? <laughs> but was these that, guys know that. Yeah, yeah. These now guys know that. that about yeah. me. So. What I meant to say was I was actually aware of my surroundings there and I did not do anything silly or did not get lost or did not really hit somebody or, you know, have you my... You did get lost at one point. Okay, one point out of four days is, is allowed, okay? One Ron train, that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, there's a lot of more a lot more of those stories. You can um, hit us up uh, individually if you want to hear them. There's yes, some, no. There's some no. really funny stories. I will no. share them all. No, 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 no. <laughs> um, okay, so, so today... We're sort of transitioning, or we are. I like your hat, by the way. The hat's yeah. back. Yeah, yeah. The hat's Where been traveling. Been? In New York? In New York. <laughs> Eating alone in, the, in a restaurant, ordering food? I had no choice but to carry that hat everywhere because. So, when I. So, with, with my outfit, this hat was working. So, I said, hey, I'm going to take your hat. Not going to borrow it. I'm, I'm going to take your hat and go to um, New York with it. And then he's like, Make sure you do not crush my hat. Do not put it in your carry-on. Do not crush the hat. So with my existing stuff, which I did it with a carry-on and a tote bag, I had to pair each and every outfit with this hat. The hat essentially traveled with me everywhere I went. I didn't tell you to use the hat. You wanted to use the hat. That was my condition. You can use it, but you just got to hey. make sure it doesn't get crushed. Yes, it didn't. But it also got landed on Rotten Karma's page because of my outfit. So there you go. The hat's also famous. Famous hat. All there right. you go. <laughs> so we're going to um, get into fall fashion. Mm -hmm. uh, just because now that's sort of the season. Um, I should hope so. Yeah. It's, well, I, no, I don't, I don't hope for it because I'm not a fan of the cold. I do like, I do like from a fashion perspective, I do like to, the idea that we get to try to layer clothing, mm -hmm. put different textures together, put different you know, garments and, and combinations. I love that part of it. I mean, that, that's the part of, of summer which I think is a, is a, a little bit 
boring, I guess you could yeah. say. You know, you don't get to experiment as much, but fall hits in and you get to experiment a lot with different different styles and, and layering and textures and that sort of thing and colors. So, so from that perspective, it's a lot of fun. So we're going to get into um, some of our initial thoughts on exactly those, those topics. Um, layering, <coughs> colors, and textures. And oversized clothing, which you hate. We're going we're gonna to get to... Uh, why do you get a spoiler <laughs> alert? The hat travels. <laughs> why do you gotta get into the topic before we even get into it? Oh, whatever. Just... Okay, I'm not a big fan of oversized clothing. There you go, see? Because, uh, well, let me take that back. It's not that I'm not a fan of oversized clothing. I just think a lot of people just do it terribly. Fair point. And especially like for me, like uh, if you're if you're a shorter person, it's a little like it doesn't it doesn't suit you because it makes you look short. But then <clears throat> now let's take that one step further. If you're a short person, I'm not saying it can't be done. How would you recommend a if shorter I'm gonna do person? It, I'm gonna do, yes, I'm, like I'm, how would you wear oversized clothing as an example? I would like first of all, if I'm going to do, I'd probably do it in blacks, just because again, it doesn't. It's a neutral color. It's a color that sort of hides. A little bit of imperfection. But aren't you like already but short? Would, yeah, but I but but I would I would do I would pair the oversized like if I'm wearing an oversized like what I did with um where did I use it? I did it at the Cafe Awards. The oversized. I wore an oversized jacket, but I wore black pants. So then again, it flows. So it doesn't because it doesn't it does if you put a break in there, I feel like it's mm-hmm. gonna it's gonna accentuate the shortness. So that for me, it's got to be something that's that's gonna flow a little bit easier. So that's why I paired it with the black pants. I could have done it with a different color, totally and rocked it differently. But I did it on purpose because, again, keep my height in mind. So, again, going with the height issue, uh, because there are men who are taller, there are, mm-hmm. there are men who are average height and, 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 and short men. Um, so are you saying that for you, for, you would rather take one oversized piece of clothing and pair that with everything else tapered? Or, like, in, what in if... In that situation, I did not necessarily because I'd have to see the pieces I have available that I'm matching it with to mm-hmm. see what else you could work with. I'm just in general not a fan of oversized clothing. So if, if if I have to wear it for a specific reason, I'll find a way to make it work. But again, in general, for for anyone who's just sort of on the day to day, if you're doing it again for an event or something that's a little mm-hmm. bit different, you find a way to make it work. But on the day to day, on a shorter person, I'm not a fan of it. Hmm. Interesting. Um, okay. So yeah. So back to our conversation at hand. <laughs> layering colors and textures. Um, I love layering, and that's one of the reasons I like fall is, is layering. Mm-hmm. Um, I think layering, especially for fall fashion, is, is such a incredible way to experiment with the different pieces in your outfit. And you can totally take everything from colors to textures to prints um, to uh, different styles of garments and put mm-hmm. them together and, and find find ways to make them work. I mean, obviously, you want to be careful so yeah. it doesn't look silly, but I think layering is a, is a strong part of of fall fashion. It is. It is. It actually is, and I think that's a, I think that's why fall fashion is. A lot more sexier, a lot more interesting. And interesting for sure. I wouldn't say sexier because I think summer allows. No, much. see, here's the thing though. Like, summer is great with the shorts and the t-shirt and stuff, mm-hmm. but I don't get excited with like summer clothing. Like, I find a lot of us end up putting a lot more effort in fall and winter. Yeah, um, yeah. So it's it's just it's interesting. But we talk about like from the sex appeal standpoint, like obviously. When you're wearing something that's a little bit more tighter fitted and there's nothing draping over on top, you like. But sometimes even that draping thing is kind of a sex appeal. Like I think you know men who know how to layer, yeah. uh, uh, and you know they like walk into like a hotel lobby, for example, and they just look so sharp and sexy. That's just so great. Versus like. Do so we know where Rashi wants to pick up her <laughs> hotel lobbies? So gentlemen, if you're interested in talking to Rashi, just hang out at random hotel lobbies. Not shows. random. Make sure you wear. Make sure you're wearing layered clothing. Not random. I do have standards even at the hotel lobbies. <laughs> right. Okay. So you got to be at a, like a Shangri-La or yes. Ritz or you know. Yeah. yeah. My God. The W. Oh goodness. The okay. So when we did um, ovation, and I went to the um, Shangri-La. Oh my God! Such good-looking people. Okay. Yeah. So um, great. Sorry, guys. What, what colors? Note. What What are your thoughts on colors and colors that you like during fall? Um, Good answer. I, so, so <laughs> I, I'm thinking, like you know, from a guy's perspective. I mean, you, you, we talked about it in our summer style. Like you're gonna have some of your staple colors: your grays, your blues, your blacks. But I think your dark, your you, dark your red, deep, your deep maroons, your deep purples. Greens, yeah. Um, like you know, even even colors like this, like the, the khaki colors. Um, Something a bit more olive. Yeah, the olives, like yeah. The, the, the greens. Um, we're seeing like bur- I'm seeing a lot of burgundies this year. 
Um, some of the mustards are, are big this year. To that, I find that every season they still try and have one color that pops. It stands out, yes. Yeah. 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 But, the, but it's, it's usually within, um, it's usually within those, those color realms. But I, I find that that becomes a bit later in the season. Mm -hmm. But like early season, you can still get away with like, like a bright blue or like a, like a, like a you know, neon green and everything else is still very, very subtle. Like I, I still feel like in the early days of fall, you can still get away with that. And I think you can play with a lot of textures. Like, you know, if you have a printed long sleeve, not a sweater, but say a printed long sleeve shirt or, you know, a casual cottonish kind of shirt, Mm -hmm. And that has like some sort of like textured print on it, and you throw over a flannel uh, or like a a, a, a plaid uh, shirt on mm -hmm. uh, collar shirt on top of it. You can still make that work. Yeah. Right. And and in fall you can get away with stuff like that because that it almost kind of counteracts like your jacket. But if the weather's cool enough or warm enough, sorry, where you don't have to wear the jacket, that can count as your as your jacket. But it gives you that that extra textured look. So speaking of textured look, one of the looks that and we're just backtracking a bit from one of the TIFF events that we did, one of the looks that you did was these really funky pants, mm -hmm. and then you threw on the, the plaid shirt yeah. uh, as, a, as a jacket. Yeah, yeah. We did, we feel, so Field Trip gave me uh, pants to wear for mm -hmm. one of the events. I wore it with a, a black uh, fitted t-shirt, and then I threw on, and the, and the pants had a, a lot of print on them. We'll, yeah. we'll flash it up for, for this purpose. Um, it was almost like, like graffiti writing on it was like paper. newspaper type post-it mm -hmm. newspaper type things. And then I threw and I threw on a, a plaid checkered uh, shirt on top of them. And a hat and your shoes were dark maroon. My shoes were red. Okay, it, it, red. it looked yeah, maroon yeah, in so the they, picture they because red. I wasn't with there the red, for like that print. event. So what yeah. I did with that, the hat had a bit of red on, yeah. on the print on it, so I matched the shoes with that. And also the, the print on the pants had a little bit of random red in between. Mm -hmm. So I, I paired those with that. The checkered black and white was just to throw a, an offsetting print to the to the pants and the black underneath was to, to kind of bring it all together. So when we talk okay. about layering now, for example, taking exactly what you did, that is a great way for casual layering styles yeah. um, for like men in fall because again, you are doing print on print, yes. which was which was that 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 image, yep. um, but you neutralized it with the black. Yeah, that was my, that was my right? base. Right? That, that was, was your base. base. Everything had a bit of black in it, so that brought everything together. Yeah, and, and I think when Except we... Except for the red shoes. <laughs> <laughs> but, but like that still worked, right? Yeah, it, absolutely. It, 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 it like popped out and it kind of went with your pants. Um, but see, that's the whole thing. When, when we do layering and when we do print on print, these are essentials that men have to be aware of because sometimes they don't realize it and they just either don't know how to do it or they try too hard and you get like something that just like, you know, dis disturbs your sleep basically. Okay. Yeah. Um, so Rashi's sleep is now disturbed due to layering. So again, gentlemen, if you're going to layer, please layer correctly. Otherwise, Rashi won't sleep. So it's falling asleep in random hotel lobbies waiting for the perfect guy to walk in. Listen, I'm trying, okay? Yeah. I'm putting myself with, out there and trying. pieces of ginger stuck in her nose. Can you not just tell them random stories about me, please? We'll tell you the ginger story another time. Oh, dear God. Um, do you think, so a lot, even, even on a casual like you'll see it sometimes out the jogger the joggers become not just a pair of sweatpants mm -hmm. you go to the gym or if you're wearing just to like you know run errands it's become a staple garment in in other environments you, people wear them out yeah what do you think about the jogger for fall do you think that the style is going to continue oh absolutely i'm wearing one right now absolutely right so and i wore it and, too you, and, and what different applications do you see them like i like i would actually I, like i've thought about a way of pairing jogger with blazers because i think that could work too Hello. <laughs> I'm wearing it right now. We're talking, we're talking for gentlemen, so like you know, we want to make sure that they understand the video. Yes, they could also do it. Okay, so Rashi, can stand up for a second. Guys, so I am wearing these jogger sweatpants from um, uh, Cassandra Elizabeth, who we've had on our podcast. Mm -hmm. Are you gonna do the dance or? No. Okay. I'm not you. Okay. But I'm gonna troll. Okay. Yeah. So again, the jogger style, um, blazer with it. And then I have like the long, like like the matching shirt that's a bit longer, and then I have my blazer on top that's a bit shorter, and I have a necklace that goes. But even it, even as a even as a guy, if you were yeah. these these pants are are, are these, gender neutral. Yeah, gender neutral. So mm -hmm. like a guy can wear them as is the top. But if you throw on a casual cotton style blazer yeah. or or a, like a, a a blazer which is the same material, kind of like a khaki kind of blazer, um, 
that style of material, you can easily rock that with this outfit, even, even as a gentleman, you wear some kicks with it, like high tops, and you're good and, to go. Yeah. And there's, a, and there's a, yeah. a cool street look that you can pull off. So I think the jogger is here to stay. Um, you can use it in so many different environments. And, and you know, because joggers are not only in, in that, in the uh, sweatpant material, like, you know, they're, they're, no, they're, no, no. they're in denim material, they're in sort of khaki material, they're yeah. in the, the cottons and the, and the softer material. So it's just about understanding your fabrics and where you can. And them. exactly. And, and again, just taking that risk of throwing it on with the blazer or even um, uh, Doc Martens, actually, like yeah, as a yeah. guy, you can you totally. Love Doc, you love Doc Martens. <laughs> Where, did, where was the last podcast you wanted to put Doc Martens with some random outfit? And I didn't understand what you were doing. Oh, yeah. You want Doc Martens at a festival. No, was, I did in not. The summer, in, in the smoldering heat. In, can you just... Las Vegas desert, can you stop... Can, okay, can you start giving... In your <laughs> can you start giving context to our okay, stories so, to people? <laughs> Rashi, again. Again, Rashi. Podcast, you heard that she was in New York. And so she's like, I was in New York. And every time I had ginger, it was I had ginger up my nose. Ginger no, was, that was not okay. That was not in New York. We're, 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 we're prepping for our that was for, that was sushi. Me, that was in a jungle and sushi. Me, me but that's the wrong story. And then we're like, well, hold on. Aren't you supposed, isn't the ginger supposed to go in your mouth? Like, why is the ginger in your nose? And then the whole time she was talking about ginger in her nose, and she tried it again, and somehow the ginger ended up in her nose. So again, you have to learn to aim. <laughs> I ate my sushi piece right in front of you guys, and it, it went in my mouth. But just the the the, the But then ginger... we we're also happy because she, you know, she's her, her drug of choice is ginger, and it's not anything else. So if she's snorting ginger, I mean, you know, the, it's probably not the best feeling, but at least we know she's healthy because ginger helps clear your sinuses in your system. So we know she's healthy. Okay. So you're you're welcome to continue to snort ginger. Just not let's just us. stop with the ginger diet. <laughs> so. Um, Another big thing that's coming out this year, based on some of the research that I've done, uh, <clears throat> is is leather is a big um, focus again this year. And fur too, actually. Right, but we're talking about leather. I, know, I just had to throw that in yeah. with my whole like ginger story. So, um, and leather, not even from again from from the research I've done, mm -hmm. more the uh, there's there's full leather outfits coming out that are a lot of designers are working yeah. with. Um, leather pants with the, with the leather blazer, but the the primary focus is the is the bomber leather style, like the the waist waist level weather. Uh, sorry, leather, um, which I think is amazing. I I prefer yeah. the whole leather blazer thing. Which is all yeah, it's it's also a cool look. I mean, I'm not a fan of the whole leather top to bottom outfit. I think if done right, if styled in the, and also in the correctly, right environment. You can so I'm, I'm, trying, I'm trying to think about the the everyday guy who's walking around and you know wants to go to the mall or like has to run errands or has an evening out with his, his significant other or his family, and if he wants to throw, throw leather into the mix, I mean, you're not necessarily going to wear a whole top-to-bottom leather outfit. See, I'm thinking about mm -hmm. the guy who's going to a uh, red, carpet, uh, red carpet event in the fall, uh, who's going on a night out, who's, who's going on a date, uh, a, a nice date, not, you know, a corner shop date, like a, mm -hmm. like a nice date. <laughs> and, uh, I keep my comments to myself. What do you... What do you mean by that? <laughs> I'm just saying you can yeah, carry. Yeah, just layer hotel lobby layer. <laughs> you can wear the whole, uh, you know, leather. Yeah, leather I think outfit. it's the right event. So, so, so leather. Um, you know, I think again, layering with leather is is super cool because you can, if you go back to like the, um, Back to the Future movies, like you know, like the like the old like the old school style. Like you can take, you know, a pair of pants that's. Uh, not 100% fitted, a little bit rolled up, mm -hmm. and, you know, and you have like a little bit of a longer shirt coming up from underneath and yeah. like, a bomber style leather jacket. It looks such a cool street look, um, which uh, one of the topics I was going to get into is, you know, the, the rolled up pants with the exposed sock. Not not the sock at, or not like the... And the, the actual sock. sock. No, like, like, the, like the lumber jack style socks, <laughs> like the, the cool prints um, with, with a high top boot. I think it's going to be a, a big style you're going to see a lot this year. I, what we're, what we are we are going to see not only um, fall winter and even touching into spring summer 2020 is that um, every look has has a retro feel to it. Such a retro feel, but it's so cool. And it's cool because it's not just one decade. It's 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 different decades. Yeah. That's all coming now. All yeah, uh, yeah. Um, You're using um, a altogether. mishmash of the different like yeah. whether it's the 20s com combined with the the 90s or like the 80s combined. Or with, even um, yeah. in. Uh, when I saw these shows in New York, like one of one of the designers, his inspiration was from 1960s. Really cool. Right. Um, yeah. And then you had someone who was from 1970s. Uh, uh, 1970s. On that, yeah. Right. So it's um, 
it's it's very very it's it's going to be a very interesting year for fashion uh for both men and women where this mix match like you said of the whole like ret uh retro vibe is like coming in so so I, so what are your thoughts on leather versus pleather i mean listen if you're in this where quote unquote pleather and you're going to spend that money just spend a bit more and just go full out leather i mean like you can you can get you can get a fake like a pleather style jacket for for pretty cheap, like, like probably some some stores yeah. you probably get within fifty bucks. But leather, yeah. you're you're spending upwards of a couple hundred bucks. Yeah. Unless you find something on sale or anything mm-hmm. like that. So, so I mean, for for a person who's trying to get that look out, I mean, you, you're not going to get a lot of seasons out of the pleather. No, you will not get seasons. But I think, cool, out but I think if you're trying to get the look, you can do it with the pleather. If okay, this and also if you're conscious about sort of the. Yeah, but then you also have like stuff. you have like vegan leather and all that stuff too, right? Like right. um um. Like I think Jonna J, who did one of my events last year, she's now getting bitter and bitter, and her stuff is all leather, but it's actually vegan leather, and that's why she's making a, a splash, into, uh, a splash in the um, industry. But her price points are as good as a regular leather piece. Right. Um, that being said, I personally think if it's see, it, it, it all depends whether you are into a trend type of person. Mm or you like to invest in your pieces. If you are investing in your pieces and you know how to use the same leather style jacket even three years down the road, then mm-hmm. yes, you will spend money on the on the leather jacket. But if you're someone who's just more for like your your Instagram account and you just care for that picture type of thing, yeah. then yeah, like well, this, go yeah, pleather, I think, right? I think in terms of leather, some of the staples, like you want to have a nice bomber, if you want mm-hmm. to have a, a, like a, a longer, um, leather jacket that you can wear with a formal outfit, or if you want to have a leather blazer, maybe two or three staples. But some some of the leather styles are are also trends. Yeah. So if you don't want to spend the, the larger dollar amount mm-hmm. on, then obviously you can go with the pleather because you can still get the same look for that season. Right. If you want to, if you're following the trends in a season kind of person, um, do you think white shoes are a good idea during fall, or can white shoes be implemented into your wardrobe during fall? It can. Okay. Um, is it a good idea? I mean, as long as you don't, you don't get something on it or well, that's spill, any, that's anywhere during the summer, or right? spill wine on it yeah. <laughs> and turn your shoes pink. Yeah. Um, not that that's happened to any one of us here. Before. Yeah, absolutely. You know, like, not like there's anybody else's wine in this room. Okay. First of all, it was my glass that was kept on the side and somehow I left. And the next thing I know, <laughs> the wine spills on your shoe. That's completely your fault. Okay. There you go. Not mine. I was I was not around for that. We're gonna do, we're gonna leave this topic and move on. To, uh, <laughs> more important things such as fall fashion, which we're here to kind of give you some direction and guidance. On. Uh, so I, I think I think the white shoe. The yes, white shoes. Yes. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. You know, you may have done a lighter tone color with the white shoe for summer. It's just about understanding your colors that flow with it. But a white shoe can really go well with most. But different I think outfits. light white shoes with dark clothing. Mm-hmm. It's amazing. We're it's gonna, so, so cool. Some of the uh, we're not going to reference the specific photos because what we're going to do is we're going to put up a couple of photos at the end of the podcast and mm-hmm. also on our Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash Elevated Grapes, um, which just some styling outfits and ideas that you can use as um, a base or an idea for, for styling some of your, your fall looks. And we have a couple of white shoe looks in there too. Um, what are some of the staples that you would recommend from a perspective of pants or trousers for the everyday i feel like i just had that for conversation fall. with somebody for <clears throat> a commercial that i just did um i think in terms of colors definitely have like the like the darker um blues uh the uh, uh darker denims a black wash not like like a mm-hmm. black black but like a black wash that's mm-hmm. a, that's a bit different with your texture uh dark grays I think the dark yeah. grays are like uh, uh, coming back, but whether it's like your jeans, whether it's your joggers, um, those are colors you can you can have like your your uh, base pants with, and mm-hmm. then do the whole you know white sneakers or the leather bomber jackets, or even blazers or even like oversized uh, um, tops with it. It, it yeah. could work definitely. So I think your wardrobe for fall needs really technically. I mean, you obviously like I have a million pairs of pants, but. You can, I think you can get it with four. Like if you have uh, your standard sort of mm-hmm. darker blue jean, mm-hmm. uh, a khaki or a chino, um, again, maybe a, a darker tan color because yeah. you're now working with some yeah. fall colors. Yeah. Um, 
the the black i think you need a, a black of some sort whether it's a jean or a trouser something that maybe even in, in in between that you can use in a casual environment than using a formal if you want to get a bit of a jogger style you could do that in the black too because black easily hides the jogger a little bit um if you don't want that jogger look specifically and you want to make it a bit more of a i'm going to go out with this outfit um but and why can't you I go think out one, with a jogger pen so you can i'm just saying if you don't oh. if you want to sort of hide that look a little bit or if you want to make it a jogger you can still make mm -hmm. it a jogger um and then i think a statement pen like something that's a little bit different that you're going to put on that is going to give the pants the attention because the threes are your staple you can kind of inter interchange between them and then you have one that's going to like give you the focus on the pants i think i think having that in your, it just makes your closet a little bit more fun i mean yeah you can do it as long mm -hmm. as you know how to layer those staple pants right and uh yeah and, yeah, yeah. And... but like, i mean you even if you walk into like a store a lot of them will if you if you find a staple pant like that it's usually layered with something they've usually done it on the mannequins you can get an idea mm -hmm. or obviously call one of us and we'll we'll take you obviously shopping. Yeah, yes. we, can, we can give you some ideas. Um, what about uh, what about tops and, and sweaters? What is your what is your thoughts on that? Uh, cardigans in specific. Cardigans, cardigans. <laughs> um, colors go out for all colors. Uh, do keep all types of cardigans. I find that those are very easy to interchange a wardrobe mm -hmm. with, especially if you have a busy lifestyle or if you're not sh if if you're not. Sorry, if you are a safe person in fashion and you just want to experiment a bit or you just want something that is just adds a little bit of a pop, I think having different colors of um, the quality cardigans, mm -hmm. um, even the or even the um, V-neck sweaters, it's perfect. See, cardigans I'll do oversized. I have a couple of oversized cardigans, but I think they flow well with the outfit. And the hat. And the hat, the traveling hat. The traveling hat. Um, and then for shoes, like, you know, have the Chelsea... Have, I think I think the the Doc Martin concept of a shoe, your favorite. I like how you've like very like said that are, the dark the really Doc good Martin for, for fall. Converses, um, you do that converses in 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 thicker in the darker, material. Yeah, the darker colors, and have some fun with the with the texture of the socks and and your pants because a lot of, you see if you do any research now a lot of style um, pages are showing the rolled up pants and they're showing the lumberjack style mm -hmm. texture of sock. We mentioned that earlier in the podcast too, but it gives you it gives you a whole unique different look. Yeah. Um, and it's a cool way to style it. Like if you like that's you know you have four staple pants in your in your outfit or for your fall wardrobe, and you know you wear a blue jean, you know on, on one of the days, and you want to wear that same blue jean later in the week, and you roll it up and try it with a pair of boots, and you have a textured sock, it gives it a whole different look, and it doesn't even look like the same type. Yeah. Of pants. Or even you know a funky pair of like sneakers. And yeah. The, absolutely. Yeah. Fun, and the sock. Anything, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, anything it, it that, really that works. gives that the pop and, and takes away the attention from the pant. Yeah. The same. The same pair of pants. Right. Um, so the other thing that I've seen, and maybe you want to comment on on this, and we'll we'll sort of use this as a as a last topic, is um, layering jackets has been has been a big thing I've seen this year. Um, in upcoming sort of trends is is taking taking a jacket and layering it with another oversized jacket mm -hmm. with the whole oversized piece. Mm -hmm. Have you seen that? And would you would you do something like that? I did do something like that. Where? When I was in New York, I had this big oversized dress with which was um, um, full sleeves, and I took a oversized jacket and I put that on top and I pulled off my sleeves so mm -hmm. it, it 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 had the uh, cuffs like um, hanging out mm -hmm. and because it was all the same um, fabric and texture I just and with the hat with the traveling hat and boots uh, it was actually one of my best looks that I got a lot of uh, compliments for so oversizing jackets are totally totally fine so I think it works if you're taking for example like a like if you're wearing a part of your outfit's a fitted bomber and you're wearing a, a larger bomber because the weather's so, mm -hmm. you, know, you want to, you can tag on a, a larger bomber with it and that we have almost two jackets but they're but they're complementing each other because it's it's like that's your layer effect i can take this blazer that i'm wearing right now because it's a bit more fitted and throw in that and throw in like an like a like an oversized jacket on top i don't mean i don't mean like do a park on top of a, a, on top of a blazer i'm talking about like a, if you're taking a denim jacket and putting another denim jacket on top of it but again a different size and a different look if done correctly it's actually very, very cool. So we're going to, again, we'll, we'll post uh, at the end of the podcast a couple of quick clips of outfits that you can actually see where, where and how that works. Mm -hmm. um, we have some of them in the links and on our Facebook page. If you're listening on one of the streaming sites, uh, we'll also have it um, on our Facebook, uh, facebook.com slash Elevated, <laughs> Elevated Grapes. We're getting the wrap up from, from that. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. La <laughs> so uh, again, guys, thank you for tuning in. Um, we hope we gave you some tips that you can use for fall fashion. And do and don't be safe. Just go out there and do your thing. Experiment. No, throw, please, please be safe if you. Throw don't some colors. I meant in fashion. Thank you. If you don't yeah. know what you're doing with your fashion, please be safe and don't snort ginger kids. Just Thank call you. us. <laughs>
Watching that podcast or that video. Um, if you like what you hear and you want to hear more of us and see some of our behind the scenes stuff, subscribe below. Yes, hit that little red like you know button thingy that's over there and hit subscribe and keep following us for a lot more cool fun stuff. Thanks again for tuning in. We'll see you soon.